Hi everyone, it's me, Pet Lover 2014 Kiss Kiss Kiss, and today I thought I would show you how to make some homemade hamster treats. Can I start by saying, if you see me, I've got no makeup on and my hair's a complete state, but I thought I would do a hamster video for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to tell you what you'll be needing. You will need half a cup of flour, a third a cup of hamster treats. No, I'm not using hamster treats, I'm using cornflakes because you have to mash these up and yeah, they, these are easier to mash. About this much of a banana, one tablespoon of water, and then optional is one tablespoon of smooth peanut butter. You will also need some utensils. You may need more than this. I haven't made these before, so yeah. A bowl to mix everything in, and a fork and three spoons. The first step is you're going to need to mash the fruit. So cut some of the banana, like this and place it in a bowl and just start mashing it it shouldn't be too hard um, you can use whatever fruit you want but I'm using banana so I'm just going to mash this up and then come back once you've mashed your banana it should look a bit like this and then this bit is optional but then you add your tablespoon of peanut butter um, and just mix those together Again, this part is optional, you don't have to add peanut butter, but if you do, please make sure it's smooth peanut butter and doesn't have any chunks. Next, you're going to add your one tablespoon of water to that mixture. Ignore the mess of the bowl, but once you've done that, you should then mix all of this together. A fork works better for this because it mashes the banana up into tiny, tiny, tiny pieces as you go. But you should end up with quite a nice looking mixture. Now put that mixture to the side and you're going to want to crush up the treats that you chose. Yeah, I saw that one fly and that one. <laughs> but mix up the treats that you chose. Crush them really well to our small pieces. Next, you're going to add half of the crushed treats and slowly mix them in with a spoon. And then, when you've done this, you're going to want to add the other half and mix that in too. Once that's all done, you're going to want to gradually add in the flour, mixing it as you go. But very, very gradually. Do not put it in all at once, because if you do, you're going to make the mixture far too dry. So add a little bit, then mix. Add a bit more, then mix. If the mixture is too dry, add some water. If the mixture is too wet, add some more flour. You're hoping to get a nice dough that's not too sticky. Once you've done this, you should have a nice dough ball that looks like this. That's not too sticky and that's just right. You're going to want to roll it up and start moulding it on the board and just make your own shapes. I chose to do little little balls and when you finish you should have about this many. Then you're going to need a baking tray lined with some parchment paper or greased. So it will look like this, then you're going to want to put them in the oven. You're going to want to put the oven at about 150 Celsius. And you're going to want them to be in the oven for between 20 and 30 minutes because you want them to be rock hard and golden. Make sure you keep an eye on them and be careful because the oven's hot. Okay, so I've just done all the cleaning up and they've been in there about 10 minutes now. They're starting to look a little bit browner than they were, but that's fine. Um, I'll let you know when they're done and come back to you. Right, when they're done, they should look like this, and they should be quite solid. I'm going to put them into another container and show you what they look like. There we go, and leave them for 10 to 20 minutes to cool. And once they're cooled, you can give them to your hamsters. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how they turned out for you. Comment, rate, subscribe.